Welcome to Game On Sen. shooter and if you've never played one what's one that really seems dangerous to you leave your comedic or serious responses in the comments below my favorite answers will be shown at the end of next video hello I'm your MLG pro host Rowdy Crowley and today I'm tackling the important question why are FPS games so big they haven't always been as big as they are now but they have always been semi big ever since 007 GoldenEye and Doom Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the FPS games. I can enjoy them, but I'd much rather play a stealth game or a racing game rather than Call of Duty or Battlefield. So to find out the answer to this problem, let's consult the omniscient Google! Alright, so five years ago on GameSpot, someone asked the question, why are FPS games so popular? And someone replied with... They are very easy games. They are. Let's just face it. Nothing really ever changes in any Call of Duty game from game to game. No FPS game really does. But before I go and shame and condemn the FPS genre because of this, let's look at all other genres. Do any games really ever change? Mario. Mario never changes, but that's obvious, so let's just skip that one. Every racing game. The only difference there ever is, is sometimes it's in outer space and the physics is a little off. WWE games are always the same. And his name is John Cena! <laughs> Fighting in an arena with different game modes and different players, and you try to see who's best, and it's actually a really easy game because you pretty much always are just doing the same moves, and you just figure out which ones are the strongest, and you spam them, and yeah. The only game series that has really ever changed a lot is the Sonic series. And that game has gone way downhill, and that might be part of it. They're changing too much and too drastically, and people can't adjust to it, and apparently neither can Sega, because those games are glitch central. So the fact is, is the games are easy to learn, and it's fun, exhilarating, and you never really have to wonder whether or not it's going to be a good game. Another answer I found says this. It is easy to play online now. I mean, just think about it. Short skit time. Hey, you wanna come over to my house and play Xbox together? Dude, both of our houses have Wi-Fi. And you know my Xbox gamer tag. Just invite me to a party. Oh yeah, true. But don't we wanna do some bonding in person? It's 2015. Even if we were playing in the same room, we just both sit on our phones and then play the game and not even look at each other. All of you know that's so freaking accurate that it hurts. So there's another reason why. You never have to wonder whether or not you're gonna have someone to play with because there's online mode. And no matter how much of an introvert you say you are, you know you still want communication with other human beings at least once in the blue moon and online play with first person shooters gives you exactly that. So is there another reason it's popular? Of course there is. I don't even have to Google anything to tell you this one. It's because the games are popular. Once they got popular, they got more popular because of people talking about it. If something's popular, everyone wants to do it. Do you think the Whip and Nene would have ever been famous had no one known who Silento was? Think about it, if it wasn't a popular dance, do you think anyone would do it in public? Now watch me whip, now watch me Nene, now watch me whip, whip, now watch me Nene. Dude, what are you doing? It's the Whip and Nene by Silento. It's pretty fun. No, I'm not doing that. And no one's going to do that. Dweeb. I'm not your friend anymore. Okay. <laughs> watch me whip. No one likes me. Now watch me whip, whip. I have no friends. So because everyone likes 
likes it, people are going to want to play it. It's the same reason everyone loves Jays and constantly is screaming, WHAT ARE THOSE? They're adrenaline pumping games. The gunshots, the constant action, the cool graphics and everything, it really makes it fun and cool. I used to love first person shooter games, but then as I got older I realized I didn't like them as much as I liked other games. But I can tell you firsthand that the reason I liked them so much is because I had competition, I had the chance to be the best at something, and it was fun, exhilarating, and always had me paying attention. There was never a dull moment when I was playing first person shooter, especially online. There was constantly people attacking me from all around, I had to watch for those terrible, stupid camper snipers that really annoyed me and I had fun. What ruined first person shooters for me was Titanfall. That game was so hyped up and then it was so terrible, I literally stopped playing first person shooters for like six months. So there is your reason why first person shooters are so famous, Bubba Man 73 and anyone else who is wondering. Alright, come back next time for another game on Central. It is every other Thursday at 3.30pm Eastern Standard Time. I am your 10 out of 10 IGN, would subscribe to again, host Rowdy Crowley, signing out, and as always... And his name is John C. So is your face. It used to be that they put so much thought and effort into everything they did. But now, coming up with Pokemon is so difficult. Well, how about we take a break and go to the ice cream shop? I can sure use a cone right now. No, we have to work. What if we get ice cream?